you're watching this, you're likely preparing to embark on your own journey, much like my own. My name is Rafi, and that's me. And today, I'm giving you a sneak peek into what my life looks like as a software engineer student in Sweden, specifically in Gothenburg, as we call it the capital of Sweden. But first, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, English is not my first language, as you heard it. And that's exactly why I'm making this video. To improve my English while sharing my journey with you? <laughs> cool, right? I'm currently studying software development IT Högskola in Gothenburg, specifically Java. I started in August 2024 and I'll graduate in May 2026. Right now, I live in Trollhättan and commute to Gothenburg for classes. I take the car. It's okay, it's better than taking the bus or the train. Here in Sweden, it's very snowy, so you never know when you're gonna arrive. <laughs> Why did I choose coding, you ask? Hmm, I don't know. Ask my past self. I was just in bed, just scrolling around YouTube. And I found a great video. My man, Marcus. Vill du jobba inom en framtidsbransch? Då har IT-skolan utbildningen för dig. And what the future holds for the software development students. It was very, very interesting. So I just scrolled more. And I took my one of the greatest chances in life. And I applied. Not to mention I was still working at a full-time job. But I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew it was the right path. I was just following my heart. And I did right. Another reason why I started this series is because I just wanted to get more information about Gothenburg, how it was in studying in this city. But there was none. I guess I'm the first. I just wanted to see like people sharing their thoughts, their real struggles, their rewards, their wins. But there was none too. What is it like to study programming in Sweden? What's hard? What's fun? How do you stay motivated when you're stuck? Can you actually get a job after graduation? All of these questions I'm gonna get go through. And maybe you do too, you love it. So in this series, I'll show you everything. My school life, coding projects, internships, and even social life outside of coding, because that's very important. Especially going out, having fun, go-karting, drinking some beer, talking about anything just have fun that's what coding is okay so let's go back a bit how did I get inco into coding I didn't grow up as a coder but I was always interested in it I wasn't one of those kids who programmed as a 10 year old or something I started programming seriously like just in August 2024 at first it felt like what the fuck Learning a new language? I'm um, good. But as more as more as more information you get inside of your head, you will learn. You will learn. You get it. But after a while, things started to make sense. The logic, the problem solving. It felt like amazing to build something from scratch. And that was when I knew this is what I want to do. In this series, I'll keep things short and odd to the point. And day in my life as a coding student, Java Jams a side project? The hardest parts of learning code? How do you get internship as a job? That's all things I'm gonna go through. I also show you the real life of students because it's not just about coding, we have fun too. If you're a coding student, anyone else in Sweden or in Gothenburg or anywhere else in the world, thinking about learning to code or just curious about what is life in Sweden, in Gothenburg specifically, Make sure to subscribe. Oh my god, this word is very hard. But I mean, subscribe. Yep, you understand. And follow the journey. If you have any questions or suggestions of which videos you'd like to see, just leave it in the comments. And follow this journey with me. Or not, if you don't want to. It's up to you. I'll just make videos for myself. And if you like it, you'll like it. If you don't, it all. My name is Rafi. See you at the next one. Yes. Fuck. Okay. 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 Okay